huge Funyun! What? You... The bag looks still sealed. This isn't actually a Funyun, is it? You're, you're just giving me false hope. I love Funyuns, I just, I want one that big. Absolute unit of a slug boy. No, that, that's a puddle of reality warping printer ink. That thing does not belong in this world. Please do not touch it. Octobase. Okay, as someone who went to conservatory and studied classical music for two decades, I didn't even know this was a thing. I actually had to look it up because I wanted to make sure it wasn't photoshopped. And apparently there's only one orchestra with one of these, the Montreal Symphony, so this is probably the Montreal Symphony. And according to Wikipedia, only like 10 total exist unless they're not listing others, mostly in museums and stuff like that. They, they, the strings are so thick that you can't even bow them. You have to play them with levers and pedals. Absolute unit of a horse. Girl for scale. A horse girl or, oh no, that's a horse. I want a hug from that horse, that's adorable. Louis Colin in 1904. Colon, Colon, that, that's such an unfortunate last name, is well known for his 13 foot long beard. Good lord. Which he used to hold his cats in. <laughs> Firstly, cat beard nest. Secondly, I like that it's just phrased as to hold his cats in, like people, you know, carry around their wallet, their keys, and, and their cats. The world record for alcohol consumption is by Andre the Giant, who drank 156 beers in one sitting. Over 73 liters or 16 gallons. Yeah, you know those those drums on the top of like water coolers and offices? Those are five gallons, so like three of those and an extra one for luck. In other news, when he went to use the restroom, he raised the water table. This charger is 45 feet long. That, that's weird. Uh, also partly because I thought the spec for USB was 32 feet max. It may have changed since the last time I looked it up though. Cookie my wife made. Okay, aside from the Yoda sentence, uh, did any, does anybody remember the mall stores that sold cookie cakes? I don't know anybody who actually ever got one for their birthday because it's, it's a cookie and they're also like horrendously expensive, but, uh, but they, they just sold giant, they were just giant cookies on display with like words and stuff candles and stuff on them. This is what it reminds me of. The Baylong Elevator. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't be the first one to try it out, but if it's been operating for a while, sure. Uh-huh. Seems a lot better than taking the stairs. Double king size bed. Th this one doesn't seem as creative. Like you just you just put two kings next to each other. Is this is this what Alaskan king is, whatever the, the giant one is? The headboard's just really massive for no good reason. This chunker that I found in a bag of defect jelly beans. Can you buy defect jelly? Whoa! Wait, is are, are buying defect jelly beans a thing? I I want to do that. Best before February nineteenth, twenty twenty one though, so I, I wouldn't eat these. One jelly belly lane. These are jelly bellies. Man, I gotta look up and see if they sell rejects. This massive flag that was literally laid over Hoover Dam. This actually screws with your sense of perception because the flag is so large that even if you imagine like a really large flag, it's it's gonna make the dam seem small, not the flag seem huge. It only really starts to, to, to sink in when you like look down and you're like, oh, that's a road with like cars and stuff on it. My parents' dog, Monsarella. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Y'all got extra cheese. That's adorable. Oh my God. I wanna give Monsarella a hug. Say hi to mozzarella for me. The Canadian lynx have the fluffiest paws. I think I've seen these, but yes, I have seen these before. They are amazing. They look like they're wearing giant, like fuzzy mittens, like giant costume paws on top of their paws. It's so cute. Absolute unit of guinea pig. I saw a tweet from PM Seymour saying that uh, we should call capybaras guinea pigs. And I think, I think we found the guinea pigs. You can talk to this person right here to get one. This is one of the largest pizzas you can buy in New York. Oh, is this Coronets? With the, the pizza box, this is actually a double unit. Oh, this is not Coronets, okay. I tried looking this up because uh, I'm genuinely curious because Coronets is kind of known as the, the largest readily available slice, not something you have to special order or anything. And there's also a place called Pizza Barn, uh, which is home to the Super Slice, but that's in Yonkers. So, so they're, they're not, not even remotely Part, part of New York. I have no idea where this is from, but I'm pretty sure it's like a special order or something like that. Still cool. 100 year old rhododendron. Did I get that right? I, I can never pronounce that, that plant. And the woman who planted it. Okay, I was a little bit zoomed in and all I saw was the plant at first. I was like, did the plant eat her? <laughs> there she is. Well done. Look at the chaos you have brought upon this earth. I am so proud. This pod had five peanuts inside. Good Lord, they got busy. This police officer's arm. <laughs> Holy hell! He has one arming, like two of those road 
Raptors. I don't even know what they're called, and I see them every day. This is pretty impressive. Absolute unit of a pot to boil. 1,200 eggs at once. I, I, I'm pretty sure we've moved into cauldron territory at this point. One of my former IT consulting clients uh, downtown was a restaurant, and uh, they were all about, like, their sauce, their pasta sauce. And they, they made it every day in this giant, about this size pot, cauldron, something like that. But it just made the entire restaurant smell amazing. Fat cat patches weighs a mere 40.3 pounds. That That's an egg with legs. It, it, is Patches being arrested? We love that belly. Is Patches okay? <laughs> like, every time I see a, a pet this large, I'm just like, adopt Patches today. I, I'm pretty sure Patches ate the last person that adopted him. The Antonov 225, the heaviest and most powerful plane ever built. Oh, I think I saw a documentary on this or something like it. They use this plane, to, I, I, I think. They use this plane to like transport other planes inside of it. It's like a cargo plane. And it was something like it could lift like several like fully loaded semi-trailers, which are usually around 80,000 pounds, uh, which kind of screws with your head when you think of a plane with other planes inside of it. Dragon the Hut. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that rock looks like a stack of pancakes. Now I want pancakes. Maybe he thought they were pancakes too, and that's <laughs> and he's been eating them. The Hyperion Corporation. I'm sorry, played too much Borderlands. Hyperion, the world's tallest known living tree, is a sequoia in Redwood National Park, California, that stands at 380 feet, 116 meters. There's always one overachiever, just one annoying guy who has to destroy the curve. Actually, this this looks like one of those fake cell phone towers that's like either planted in the middle of a field with like nothing else around, or is in a forest but it sticks way out and doesn't look natural. All it just, oh yes, I am, I am totally tree. I am not 5G tower. Genuinely very cool though. I've seen red ones in person and they're just wild. It just it screws with your head. NFL versus regular dude's arm. That's really impressive. Like I'm always impressed by the physique of sports people as somebody who doesn't really understand sports. The ball is over there. You could just go put it over there. But like the physical strength and stuff like that, this is just really cool. Awesome bioengineering. The goo of 30 cream eggs, phrasing, makes one big cream egg. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, I, I don't I don't want to know why you know this or I, 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 I don't feel like we can. I'm going to walk away from this. He has risen. Phrasing. That's a chunky loaf, though. <laughs> a manhole cover in Weisbaden, Weisbaden, Germany. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. It better make like clinky steampunk noises when it opens and the stairs like rotate down. Look, not everything in the world has to be a special effects from a movie, but everything could be. And that I feel is the goal we should be working towards. Imagine seeing this unit on the road. Imagine seeing two of them. Cause there's two of them. Yeah, you start staring at your car glass. You're like, that That glass is noticeably thin. <laughs> German cyclist, Robert uh, Forsterman. <laughs> Absolute thighs. Okay, this is actually interesting because I thought like with cycling, like your calves and stuff like that would get just as big as your thighs. But like, apparently the muscles you actually use are just all in your thighs. I like biking, but I'm not like professional or care about it enough for that. Yeah, this just looks like three different men glued together. My boyfriend and I got pictures taken with wolves today. And this cutie loves belly rubs. Oh my God, look at it. Ah, I want to go pet a wolf. I want to give a wolf belly rubs. That's so cute. I have I have no fear index when it comes to animals. It's it's a problem. <laughs> Giant iron tree built in the Russian Ministry of Agriculture. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> the Russians slash the Soviet Union would build a metal tree for their agriculture department to cast shadow over the arch. <laughs> well, it's 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 not as robot-y as I expected, but but yeah, it's, it's a choice. Siberian Unicorn. That's an excellent band name. Once roamed among humans, surviving in Eastern Europe and Western Asia until at least 39,000 years ago, around the same time of Neanderthals and early modern humans. Huh, that, yeah, I mean, it's not a horse with a horn, but that's, that's a unicorn. Like, functionally speaking, I always wonder if things like, you know, fairy tales, like how much of it actually might have existed. Because I'm sure there's fossils we've ne we have never found and may never find. Also took me a second to realize there's a whole man just behind that right leg. This enormous asparagus <laughs> I harvested today. Normal one plus banana for scale. Always gotta have a banana for scale. Good Lord, that looks like bamboo. Like that is so big, it looks like a stick of bamboo. This 6,000 year old ba baobab tree in Senegal. That's a whole house. 
like, how many people are there? One, two, three, four. These, I mean, there's a kid, but like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna stop there because it, then it turns. But like, eleven people wide. You could, you could like, I don't want to kill the tree, but if the tree had died at some point, you could carve that out and make a whole tree house out of that. Like, it would be a house made of tree. Absolute unit number 107. Uh, yes, we have 115, which <laughs> looks like a jackal. <laughs> and 107, the grumpy puddle. Wait, is that a guinea pigs? Is that a capybara? Oh no, this is a beaver named Daisy. She's pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, that is a massive beaver. Imagine getting tail smacked by that. You, you'd just be absent for the next week. Baseball plus size tail. Oh, sorry. Baseball plus size tail in Iowa recently. That is wild. I mean, we used to get hail a lot in Florida, and I remember the reports was always it was always golf ball sized. It was never quite that big because once it hits the ground, it's it's kind of smaller. Uh, but oh, we never had hail that big. Jesus. Imagine going outside and that thing's coming at you at terminal velocity. You'd hit your head and you'd just reboot. John Truden, heavyweight ski champion. <laughs> Good lord. That is that is absolutely magnificent. I, I want to see footage of this guy like doing ski stuff. I don't know anything about skiing. This absolute unit of a schnitzel I ate. Holy schnitzel indeed. <laughs> Little tiny lemon just like ding. That lemon's doing a lot of work for garnish. The plate's under it like I can't breathe. This bucket of soy sauce, someone gave me. Fuck. Holy hell. That's like five gallons, isn't it? Yeah, it's a five gallon bucket. That, this is the thing, like, primer comes in. What are you gonna, what color are you gonna paint the house? Soy sauce. You could turn the entire Mississippi River into the Atlantic Ocean with that much salt. CrossFit athlete, Danny Spie Spiegel. Okay, this, this looks way more balanced compared to the, the bike, like this, this seems like everything is all muscly at once. This is what I expected to happen. Sphere, praise the sphere, worship the sphere, give back rubs to the sphere. This thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a squirrel, that's a squirrel. This dude woke up from hibernation, found his nuts, and found everybody else's. Ate them all right on it. Doesn't run, he just bounces. <laughs> I'm six foot one, 220 pounds. This guy's a monster. I don't know who he is, but I would I would be very scared to meet him if he was angry. I, I feel like I should find out what his favorite snack is and just carry that around in case I ever meet him. Just be like, I, in case you're in a bad mood or hangry or something here, please don't break my everything. I'm like 130 pounds wet. Absolute unit of a stout. Oh, that's a glove. Oh, it's like trying to figure out why the legs look weird. Absolutely massive chonker. Christopher Reeves, neck and jaw when he's played Superman in 1978. <laughs> he looks like a wide load sign. The camera adds 10 pounds, I swear. <laughs> this, this also looks like a cat that has done something that they know is stupid, but they're trying to play it off like this is exactly what they meant to do it. Yeah. The Henjob no Antachi sort. Just murder me in the comments. It's fine. In the, oh God. Han, Han, Hananoka Hatch, that word. Shrine in Japan. <laughs> Stands at an amazing 15.25 feet. Wait, I had to flick back to the text. Sword? This this is considered a sword. Do you hold it from the middle? Is it like the Klingon uh, weapon? H how do you use it? This seems like one of those impractical things that was made by like a, a blacksmith uh, who, who just wanted to show off. Like, oh, nobody can make a sword longer than 10 feet. Ah, oh, I'm gonna make one that's 15 feet. And he just like rolls up to, I don't know, SwordCon 1890. <laughs> Behold, and the whole crowd claps. This is acceptable good lord cave johnson be proud of that lemon when god is your lemon you have found a new god the undertaker and his grandma 1991 i do know who the undertaker is only because of nerd cubed uh i've seen this picture before i didn't know who it was though okay if you want a sense of actual scale like his grandma isn't that short like th that's a red solo cup over there like i'm guessing she's like five seven five six ish dude is massive this bruiser of a cat we affectionately named Tank. We saw on a walk uh, this afternoon. Tank is always watching. Tank sees all and eats all of it. Now that will get the job done. I'm more concerned that this truck is pooping a snake, but also I have no idea what you're towing with that. Cause, cause it's not like there's uh, I don't know, mar uh, marina cleats. I have no idea what you're what you're towing with that. Look at the size of this carrot. You have found the arm of the carrot man. The carrot man will arrive to retrieve it tonight. Good luck. This absolute whisk. 
<laughs> is this for the 1200 eggs pot from earlier? Is this how you whisk all the eggs once you've cooked them? I know that doesn't make sense, but shut up. Damn, that's a thick raccoon. <laughs> that's, I, I can't say I've ever seen a raccoon with cheeks, but I guess that's what my screen is going to show me today. <laughs> think he's been eating more than just lettuce. No, I'm pretty sure it was just lettuce. It was just an entire field. It was all of California. This lad. What in the, what, what in the, wait, 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 hang on. The face looks a little bit weird, but fine, whatever. Uh, and then the shoulders just make long distance calls to opposite sides of the continent with little tiny arms and, and then just straight lines straight down to the feet, which appear to be normal. What character creator did you make this mannequin in? Arctic hairs. Wait, 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 hang on. Hairs, yes, Hair, hairs. That, that's a bunny? Why is it walking like a lamb? Why, what? Oh my God, the ones in the, oh my God, the ones in the back. Ah, y'all know my eyesight is screwed. So like I have problems with contrast. So I thought the ones in the back were like snow mounds or snow, like the, some, no, those are bunnies. Oh my God, I want to give a sleeping one a hug. And oh my God, the ones with the four legs look faster than they should be. Do they still hop? Wait, do they? I have so many questions about Arctic hairs now. First time mother gives birth to 13 pound baby girl. The second biggest in the UK. After her bump was so big, doctors thought she was having twins and her skin stretched so much it bled. Oh, 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 ow, ow. That's a massive piece. She's gonna end up being the one from like, on the CrossFit stuff. Take me to the fridge, tiny human. <laughs> that cat's about to clean out the entire fridge. 36 inch tires, 5XL bike, normal sized lady, absolute unit of a man. Oh, that's wild. Oh, that, cause he looks normal and he's like out from the store a little bit. So like your brain kind of puts him farther out and then the lady is there and the lady is normal size and your brain just goes, what the hell is going on? Still a very cool photo. Enjoy your new bike, giant man. I hope you have a pleasant ride with it. The legs on Tom Platts. I don't know who Tom Platts is, but good Lord almighty. In the middle photo, they look like loaves of bread. I want bread now. Now, imagine how many critters are living in that unit. Yeah, these trees look really cool until you take a thermal camera to them. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm going to leave now. Me, standing next to a Cat 797 dump truck. <gasps> are these the quarry ones? Are they? Yes! Okay, this might not be at a quarry because I don't know the context, but there are quarry dump trucks that are so massive that like, if you don't move them for too long, they'll get flat spots on the tires for the weight. And starting that, they sound like a train. The, the engine is probably the same as a train. They're insane. And there's like no way to communicate scale on this. If the editors have an extra few seconds, they can throw up some Google images of like just quarry drum truck. They are just so cool. I'm sorry I'm nerding about this. I just like it. It's, it's fun engineering. Huge TV in Mike Tyson's abandoned mansion. Mike Tyson has an abandoned, ma does he still own it? What's an abandoned mansion? Like how, do you just own a mansion and like not have enough time to hang out there? I mean, the TV is fine, but like it's it's a, it's a rear projection. Like you can make those as big as you want. So I'm not as impressed by that, I'm sorry. It's it's basically a backwards projector. It's, it's not, it, it, you can make, you've seen giant projector screens before, I'm sure. What's he thinking? I don't remember eating all of that. 